How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to reviewing your squads. Now, as you guys can see today, this is going to be another reviewing your squads, as I've literally just said. But what we're going to do in today's episode is not feature any gameplay. Now, this is the first time we haven't featured any gameplay in the series. It's just due to EA not releasing any content. I mean, there's no content to kind of focus on right now. But in the future, we will be playing with more of your teams, unless you like it like this. And uh, we can review more teams within the episode. So if you do enjoy... You know what to do. Bring that like, smash that like, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new around here. And leave a like on the video, man. Leave a like on the video. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Leave timestamps for the teams that you want to address and talk about their squad as well and what you would improve with their teams. And if you want to submit your team, we've got a Discord. The link is in the description below. And we've got the Twitter, Marshall89HD. We've got the socials. The social gram? The Instagram, Marshall89YT. It's a little bit different on there because someone stole my bloody name. But lads... If you do enjoy, a like would be appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. Let's just get into the episode. It's your pre-team of the season squads. Let's have a look at them. So this is the first squad that we're going to take a look at. As you see, Story to Glory. It's a good team. It's a good team. But it's a formation you're not used to seeing. You've got a free the back formation and uh, Hierro's in there too. You kind of need Hierro for the link to Kante. Just to give him that kind of seven chemistry because if he doesn't have that extra link, I think he drops like three or four. Uh, he's got the link to Messi as well, Hierro. So he, an icon center back is needed in this squad. But um, you could easily get away with like a Lenglet, a Nutiti or something like that. Uh, uh, like a, a Frenchman from the La Liga. So he still gets that link into Kante and he still gets that link into a Messi. But this team's a little bit different. Why? Because he sticks with a three at the back. You don't normally see that in FIFA. Normally, uh, you see 4 2 3 1. You see 4 1 2 1 2. You see 4 4 2. You see the natural formations. You don't normally see formations like this. So I, I give him props for this team and the inventiveness within it. And the props for getting 100 chemistry as well. He actually gets 100 chemistry with this team, which I didn't think was quite possible, especially with Kant here off chemistry in the middle. Uh, Salvio's off chemistry as well. I just want to check Salvio as well and just have a little look what his stats are off chemistry as we move over to foot being. Uh, we'll stick this down to 7 chemistry. I believe that's what he gets. And uh, what chem style does he have on him? What chem style? Engine. Engine. What does he actually get with these enhancements? That's not bad, you know. Even with seven chemistry, that's not bad. He gets plus two, plus three in certain areas, plus six in terms of balance. And plus six in free kick accuracy and long passing. So, uh, again, oh, plus six in dribbling takes it to 99. So, uh, that's not bad. That's really not a bad, boys. It's really not a bad. So Salvio is definitely a viable option for this team and a very, very good one at that. And um, yeah, what traits does Salvio have? Injury prone, flair, giant throwing. That's a weird one for Salvio to have. But Salvio is a very, very good choice for this squad and a very usable choice at that. Timo Werner alongside him. I mean, this is how he lines up in game. Messi alongside Timo Werner with Salvio in a cam. Personally, I'd stick Messi in a cam. Messi's more, I don't know, dynamic in cam. What, what is uh, Salvio's work rates? Are they the same as Messi? High medium. Yeah, I'd stick Salvio at striker, boys. I'd stick Salvio at striker. Messi at cam because Messi's got those medium and lowers, I believe. And um, yeah, he's a little bit more effective at cam more than the striker. So that's what I would do. The rest of the team... Fantastic. This uh, right midfielder is a little bit dodgy. Not going to lie, it's a little bit dodgy. This is a 3-5-2 he switches into, uh, but who, who's that midfielder? I'm not too sure of his name. I know it's, is it Dominguez? I'm pretty sure it's Dominguez. Uh, actually, it's not. It's Enzo Perez, isn't it? It's Enzo Perez. I don't believe he belongs at right mid, but the look at this team, it's not one where he's going to push the right mid and left mid forward. It's Perisic and it's... Uh, Enzo Perez, the form of Valencia man, I do believe so anyways. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. There's nothing you do about it. But uh, I think that's like defensive right mid and left mids because they're not going to get inroads or anything like that. So it's a good team. I'd swap Messi with Salvio. That's my personal preference right there. The rest of the team, very, very good. Pacey at the back. Uh, Hierro in the middle, of course. Kimmich and Kanti, a very good sword CDM partnership. And they should do very, very well at that. Overall, I'd probably give this team about... Maybe a seven, uh, maybe a seven or a six. Uh, inventiveness would be there. It's a very inventive squad, but the effectiveness within the team, uh, it's just not really there, especially with the right midfielder being a CDM, stuff like that. It's um, it's a little bit, I don't know, not, not degrading to the team, but a little bit counterproductive, you know what I'm saying? So you probably have to bring subs on uh, at some stage if you want more attacking uh, kind of options and stuff like that, but a very good team to start things off. So this is the second team in lads. London is blue. A little bit debatable, boys. A little bit debatable. But this is a nice little team. He's got Trent at centre forwards. What I envisage is... What's it in game? 4-1-2-1-2. I was going to say maybe a... 
yeah, probably a 4 one 2 one 2 actually, because he's got like three CMs right there. Uh, Leroy Sané, 7 chemistry. We'll look over that card in just a second on uh, 7 chemistry. Also look over Fuchs as well on 7 chemistry in the back, because he starts Fuchs at centre back. Um, Aspel Equitas in there. Of course, you can get Van Dyke, of course, and just swap him out and get full chemistry on another centre back, because right now, um, I believe you've maybe got like 8 chemistry, 7 chemistry on Aspel Equita, and you've got like 7 chemistry on Christian Fuchs as well. I like this link. Love this link on this game. From Kimmich to Alonso. Sensational link on this game. And I've used it before and it's very, very effective. Also, number one, if you choose to do Boateng over time or anything like that, you can get Boateng in this team and Fuchs would still be on 7 chemistry. So take Aspel the Quitter out, put Boateng in. Boateng would get full chemistry. And Boateng is one of the better centre-backs in this game. And I believe Boateng last... Um, it's one of those not expiring SBCs. If I'm wrong, again, I'm wrong. But Boateng is a very, very good SBC. I've got St. Maximin. Great kind of winger on this game, but again, you play him striker alongside Leroy Sano with Sancho Akam. That could prove interesting because you've got the five-star skills, but I do believe he lacks composure, whereas Sane, he lacks the weak foot. I believe so, anyways. Uh, it's a very, good, very good team. The one I want to look at is Christian Fuchs on 7 Chemistry, though, and just show you how to improve. Now, in terms of the chem style you've got on the card, it's actually engine. Use engine on the card. I know the stat on, the, on your team, you've got engine on the cards. That's not the chem style I would recommend for this, this uh, Christian Fuchs whatsoever. Um, at centre back, of course, with the engine, he gets 91 pace, 91 sprint speed, uh, and a boost the agility and balance. But honestly, look at this 92, uh, well, 91.9 in terms of rating, uh, the rating for centre back. Lads, stick a shadow on him. He goes to a 95 rated centre back. It increases that acceleration sprint speed so much, whereas the negligible balance and agility, um, where with engine, is literally 3 and 6. Take a shadow on him, you get major boost in acceleration and major boost in defending. And he's already got the 99 strength, aggression, jump, and combo in terms of the 99s. So, uh, definitely shadow on Christian Fuchs, and you'll be able to benefit from that. Apart from that, a very good inventive team, and he plays Kimmich at CDM, Alexander Arnold, Lampard, Jane Sancho, Christian Fuchs alongside Aspel Equator. Yeah, my recommendation, lads, is. Uh, uh, literally, Christian Fuchs is centre-back, keep him there, ask for the quitter to take out, do boating if he's still available, and go from there. Apart from that, it looks very, very good. I'd possibly replace uh, Leroy Sane, get a proper striker in there, uh, then a Leroy Sane. Maybe St. Maximin as well, you could stick Leroy Sane here on 7 chemistry, and get a proper striker in there, just to give you uh, that kind of proper striker feeling. Because you've got St. Maximin and Leroy Sane, they aren't really proper strikers. And you can get so much better within those positions. So, lads, that being said, let's have a look at your next team. So, the founder of this series himself, Mr. Haber, has sent me his team across as well. I'm just going to have a little look at his team. Uh, this team is absolutely fantastic. I mean, he's got a stack card. Haber, what are you doing, pal? you got a stack card on Alberto, man. Take the stack card off. But honestly, this Opara, this is why I'm looking at the team right now. I want to try him out. I really want to try him out. I haven't even done uh, the MLS SBCs to get Opara, but Opara needs to be done for myself. I really, really want Opara because he looks absolutely amazing. This card is literally lights out. Cannavaro, by the way, still met at this stage in FIFA. If you've got Cannavaro, definitely utilize that card. Bandasan, still good at this stage of FIFA. Utilize that card as well. This card, pre-team of season, is literally nuts. Hazards. I've never got along with that Hazard suit too much. The foot birthday is a different kettle of fish, but this Hazard's not too much. But if it's working for Heber, it's definitely working for Heber. Uh, formation. Heber, do you play the 4 2 3 1? It's definitely a formation I'd use in this, uh, this team. Maybe Pele and Akam or something like that. Little lamb action, little ram action. And Striker and Eusebio with Marcelo Kante CDMs. Alexandro Sensational as well. And the bench. Heber, it's a little bit of a flex, isn't it? Look at all these icons. Ronaldinho. That's not alone. Why do you not utilize Ronaldinho, bro? Because you can't, his, his team's literally better than Ronaldinho. How can you have a team that's better than Ronaldinho? It, oh, I look, oh, no. I played Douglas Costa over uh, Hazard, bro. Honestly, that's that's how highly I rate Douglas Costa on this game. I play him probably ahead of Hazard. That's him, his team, the founder of this channel himself. You want to find out his link? It's in the description below. Lads, on to the next. And speaking of Eden Hazards, this guy's got Eden Hazard in his squad. He's got the foot birthday. And what I would say with this card is um, it looks lights out. It should be lights out, and I've used them in draft, I do believe, and it was absolutely crazy. Now, this team screams a 4 2 3 1. These are on the attack, these two are CDM, Sissoko and Vidal. And I've got to say, I like the inventiveness of this squad, not only for the links, 
Vidal in the Messi, striker into that. This link here is very, very OP for a Bundesliga. A Bundesliga, a La Liga, and Sissoko in the same maximum. A very strong link right there. Alexandra's on weak chemistry, but it doesn't matter. They chemistry. 7, 8, 9, 10. It's all good. Once you start getting into the minuses, though, that is where the issues arise. And again, this little swap here from Semedo into uh, Sergio Ramos. Switch them again. Happy days. Happy days. The only kind of concern I've got with you right now... It's the 3,000 coins you've got, unless you're highly unassigned, lads. Um, you might struggle with coins in the future, but these guys are tradable. It's all good going into team of season, isn't it? But team of season, you kind of want your coins liquids. You kind of want your coins liquid, lads, for team of season. Uh, so uh, just keep an eye on that. But uh, apart from that, a very um, a very dynamic squad. A very dynamic squad, I will say that much. Inventiveness, possibly... It's not really that inventive, so possibly a five, but effective is definitely like up in the eight or nine. A very effective squad right there. On to the next. Now this is a full untradeable squad. So I'm going to look at you with the mean eyes. Lads, honestly, untradeable luck this year for myself hasn't been very good. It's mainly SPCs. This guy's got very lucky. He's got Douglas Costa untradeable. Uh, Di Maria untradeable. Sensational Messi untradeable. Vendel. We've seen SPC. Not too sure on that. The only thing I've got with this squad is Nesta. Nesta just doesn't fit the meta. So what I do with this team is Scream out a Mendy because you get this uh, right back Bustos on chemistry too. So Scream out a Mendy is possibly better than Nesta in my personal opinion. So definitely out a Mendy is what, uh, who I suggest. And you look at out a Mendy right now and you look at the price of the cards. It's not even that expensive. 200k right now is not that bad for a card of this stature. You look at this card from Scream and you think it's a Scream card. It's early in the game. But lads, apply a shadow. It takes him to a 91 center back. And these are very important stats. Nearly maxed out in a lot of different categories. Nearly maxed out in pace. And he's still got 91 jump and 81 strength and 93 aggression. He's still a unique center back on this game and a very effective one at that. With a high defensive work rate and medium attacking work rate. A definitely a usable character going on forward. Apart from that, the team is fantastic. 4 2 3 one it looks like. You do set up with Matthias, Essien, um, maybe Messi in the camp, Douglas Costa, Lam. I'm going to say striker for Mane or striker for Di Maria. I'm going to guess... That's what you do. You've got Nick Pope in Nets as well, boys. Uh, but definitely got a Mendy. Let's solve, uh, solve your team and uh, get rid of the, the Nesta. Uh, and apart from that, probably Wendell. You look to upgrade him over time and possibly look for an Alexandro left back. Apart from that, you look at other Brazilians. You look at Teles, you look at Marcelos. Um, other Brazilian left backs. Dalbert League SBC. I don't know how good this Wendell is, but if he's working for you, by all means, it's not for me to criticize or anything like that. If he's working for you, utilize him and use him going forwards. But honestly, Alexandra is possibly your best choice in that position. And then you've got uh, Roberto Carlos and players like that. But also your bench looks sick as well. You've got Ben Yedda here, Bruno Fernandes, Ryan Kent. Everybody's got him on the bench, lads. He's not going anywhere. This uh, future star, I'm going to guess, is that a midfielder? I'm guessing that future star is Bayer Leverkusen's midfielder. Is it Palacios? I'm guessing it is anyways because I don't see his full cards. Brands in there, Paulino and Son as well. You've got Burkham just chilling down here too. If you want to change formation in game or anything, Burkham would definitely be a viable option. And you've got Ossiemen. I love Ossiemen on this game. He's a good player. And David Beers just chilling there on the reserves as well. But a very good team. In of this, possibly with the, with the back line being Vendel, Bustos here. Yeah, I like this kind of transitional team, but Inventiveness is possibly a six because Icons, they take away your inventiveness, you know what I'm saying? With Icons, like letting Messi just chill in there on seven chemistry and stuff like that. But lads, I do like the look at this team and it will be very effective in game. So effectiveness would be like an eight or something like that. Uh, Prav, very good team, on to the next. Now the only thing I see in this team is upgrade potential. Yes, potential, because honestly, this side is good. Hakimi is not good enough for this stage in the game. Simply not good enough. So honestly, if you've got Alfonso Davies, which I don't believe you have, I transition this team over to this side. I just like to swap a Rooney, you know what I'm saying? So the right to the left, I, I, I'd probably chop Hazard. I'd probably chop Hazard and get him out of there, to be honest. Uh, and what you could do if you do switch it over to the other side is get a Dembele in there and you've got a strong link, a perfect link into Antoine Griezmann. Also Pogba. You got Gerard chilling here, boys. He's got Gerard. Now, I rate this Gerard higher than that Paul Pogba. I know he gets the strong link into Rashford, but so does Gerard. Gerard does as well. So, uh, chemistry wise, 
it's not going to be a problem. It won't be a problem. So uh, I definitely replace Pogba with Gerrards and uh, have Gerrard and Kimmich at CDMs in the 4 2 3 1 because that's what the formation, I believe, uh, is that you're going for right here. Apart from that, it's not really. Uh, I don't know, an effective team, because if you switch across to the right-hand side, you could put PK in, uh, PK in the squad if you've got a PK or something like that, or that's Semedo. You would have seen Semedo early on headliner and something with Ramos in game. You could definitely do that, or just utilize Ramos in 7 chemistry. It's all good. Uh, on this side, a right-back to get Ramos in that full chemistry. Uh, maybe a player. It might sound a bit outlandish, because I don't know how many coins you've got or anything like that. But you've got like Crespo's chilling here on the bench and stuff as well. Do you have any more icons within your squads? Do you have any more icons within your squads? Because uh, definitely that would be another option. Another option for you guys to go through. And also lads, if you did go Gerrards in here, you could have Jovic. I see chilling in there. Jovic chilling on the sub bench. You could put Jovic in a striker. I rate Jovic better than that Marcus Rashford. The performance Marcus Rashford is effective. He's got five-star skills and stuff like that. Jovic, he's got the five-star weak foot. The five-star weak foot, for me, is much more effective than a five-star skill move set. And that's why I have Jovic in there, possibly over this kind of link here. And, and it wouldn't affect his chemistry either. It wouldn't affect Rashford's chemistry at all. And if you've got a right-back from the Bundesliga, uh, like Piszczek, Piszczek was very early game. A lot of people did that SPC as well. Pisset would better be better than Hakimi, but I'm guessing you don't have that right now. So I'm kind of wondering the options for right backs within um, the Bundesliga. So if we do go and search a Piz check, oh no, spelled it wrong, boys. I thought it was a C. It was a Z. Uh, Piz check and go Bundesliga and have a look, a little look at the right backs right now and just see your options. Uh, da Costa, great option right there, fantastic option, uh, and it does solve a lot of your problems out with this side. The Costa would be a major, major option right there. And apart from that, the options are literally limited, aren't they? They're literally limited from Hakimi. Bender is not usable right now. This laner could be usable. This laner could be usable, but you've got another laner here. But it all depends if you've got the coins. I wish you did that piss check because piss check is very cheap. Well, was very cheap. It was like 65k. Dude, 149,000 coins? Are you joking? I, I swear it was like this price. I'd say 65. It's, it's not deceiving my eyes. I swear it was like 65 to 85. I didn't think it was like 100 and summit. But lads, even in this market, that piss check is very, very good value, to be honest. Uh, but honestly, go for the Costa if you can possibly get the Costa. Uh, I'd stick the Costa here. Gerard could come in and Jovic in at striker. It's a good pre-team pre -team of the season kind of squads. And during team of the season, I'm pretty sure you could get lots of great Bundesliga kind of right backs, some right wingers and stuff like that. Uh, Bayern Munich, who would put Nabry? Nabry team of the season, boys. You've got a perfect link in there. Nabry team of the season, and then you could get, definitely get a La Liga striker, you know what I'm saying, from team of the season, and even a left back. Um, how, how, was, how good was Renan Lodoy this year? Was he a good left back in uh, La Liga? You've got some great options right there, and some definitely, I don't know, this, like I said, it's the very start of looking at this team. It's an upgradable squad. And I like that about this team. Lads, let's have a look at the next team. So this will be the team that we do finish on for today's episode. And it's coming out of left field. I've just scrolled down. I've just found this team. And lads, it caught me with the moments. Shevchenko, Larson. But it also caught me with um, what he does do in game. Or what I imagine him to do in game. He's got Boateng, Ogbonna, centre-back Sam Brotter, Which is very, very strange. Uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold, right wing-back. And Schultz. So what I'm imagining him in team. Just imagine squeezing, just squeezing that team together and one of those back lines just popping out when you're squeezing and putting the pressure in. You'd imagine it's Sam Brotter. Sam Brotter pops out, stick Sam Brotter in the right back. Trent, where's he going to go? You stick him in a CDM. you got Trent in CDM. Who else is going to go CDM? Bakayoko. Lads, this is a very good 4-2-3-1 setup. Uh, Larson, Shevchenko, this Mbappe. If he's untradeable, honestly, He's an incredible man. Don't know what to say to you. I just got Sadio Mane in there. Off chemistry. It doesn't matter for a team here. It really doesn't matter for a team in the air. And um, this team is going to get elite. This is an elite team. This is an elite tier team. And during team of the season, what could you upgrade? What could you upgrade during team of the season? I'm imagining... Not done a, actually, done a room of team of the season. That, that should happen. He's got quite a few informs this year, doesn't he? So uh, informs kind of signate... Signate. Um, dictates... 
uh, sometimes team and seasons because the more informs you get, the more form you've been on during the season, and uh, the more chance you've got of getting a team of season and obtaining a team of season item. And Donnarumma could definitely get a team of season right there. So Donnarumma could come in. You could keep Zambrotter. Zambrotter's good. At this side, it could literally be an icon centre back. You've got hold it down here too. Uh, an icon centre back. It could be a Premier League centre back. Ogbona. It's not going to be an Italian kind of set away right there. But um, yeah, probably an icon instead of Ogbona. But Ogbona is very, very good apparently on this game. Left back. He's got Schultz in there right now. Um, he got a winter. Re is that that's a winter refresh, isn't it? Could he get a team of season? Or oh, actually, Alfonso Davies. I reckon Alfonso Davies get a team of season. I really, really do. For some reason, he's broke through this year and he's broke through with a bang. Alfonso Davies could definitely get a team of season, slot in at left back, and again, you get to go. Links here, you don't need Shevchenko. You do not need Shevchenko. So again, you're looking at the likes of um, maybe a Bayern Munich midfield, or maybe a German from the Bundesliga so you get a stick in there, or maybe another icon. But again, from team of season, possibly. I mean, if Goretzka gets one, you're, you're good to go. It's literally perfect if Goretzka gets one. Uh, I don't know who's been performing in that league. It's actually, we'll have a look, boys. So I've got the Bundesliga loaded up right now. So if we go and have a look at the informs, literally informs, informs, informs. Where are the informs? Uh, it'll be under Team of the Week. Team of the Week nominee, Team of the Year nominee. Where the hell's Team of the Week, boys? Actually, yeah, what's Team of the Week classed as? Moments. We'll have a look at some of the moments. So these are the moments from the Bundesliga. That means nothing for this year. Absolutely nothing. So team of the weeks, team of the weeks, team of the weeks. Scored in forms. We've found it, boys. We've found it. And uh, we've got to send them We're looking for German or Bayern Munich. Coutinho would be a good shout. It would be a good shout, but I, I doubt it. Havertz. Havertz would literally be perfect for that team. If Havertz gets the team of the season, that Havertz will be broken. He's already had two in forms this year. So he's been on form. He's had a man of the match in uh, Europa League, is it? Uh, he's had a man of the match there. He was nominated for Team of the Year. Lads, I know he's got a future star. His Team of the Season will be like 97 rated. 97. So again, for Team of the Season, Habit slots in there. Alfonso Davies possibly there. And you've got a link into there. So Habit literally gets full chemistry. So pre-Team of the Season, this team is good going. I wouldn't swap it out. I wouldn't sell anyone right now. Because, lads, this is a great template for Team of the Season. And with that, lads, we're going to end today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed. Remember, no gameplay today because I couldn't fit it in with it being a morning. And uh, he is kind of cooking me on the reviews right now. They didn't upload any content last night. I know I could do the season objectives. I haven't got there personally myself. And I feel uncomfortable using your accounts for reviews. So um, I do apologize for that. But me using your accounts puts your accounts at risk as well. So I, I get why other people do it. My, me personally... I wouldn't do it right now, especially on Xbox, but PlayStation, SharePlay and stuff would work very, very well. So, um, yeah, lads, if you have enjoyed this episode, a like would be very much appreciated. Remember to leave your comments for the teams that have been submitted today and leave your potential kind of feedback for the teams. Feedback for the teams. I want to see your feedback in the comment section below, and I want to see your teams as well. Who for team of the season, this is the main question of the day, are you aiming, and this is an aim, you could get it the first time, the first day it's out, you could get it over the 30 days it's out, or 30 months it's out, and just grind towards it. Who are you aiming to get, potentially? And who do you want to see get the team of the season? But these were your pre-team of the season um, squad reviews today. So I hope you have enjoyed the video in general. Remember, Discord, Discord link is in the link below, the link below, description below. Uh, Twitter. Marshall89HD if you want to send your teams via that. Instagram, Marshall89YT if you want to send your teams via that. And we will check it out. We'll check Discord and Twitter today. Instagram will probably come down the line as well. But lads, hope you have a great day today. I really, really do. Uh, reviews, they haven't gone anywhere. They're still on the channel. I'm just waiting for EA to release some bloody content, lads. And uh, like I said, hope you have enjoyed. Hope you have a great day. And as always, I will catch you all next time.